What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we are talking about expressions, and we are going to talk about the decode base 64 function in the conversion functions. So decode base 64 is the exact same as base 64 to string. So why are the two functions? Well, my best guess is that when the Power Automate team were making um, the flows and making the expressions, they wanted to decode base64 um, from base64 to a string. And then at some point they thought, well, why don't we change the name around and have base64 to string and that way we can group everything together. Makes perfect sense, but the old one's still here. So I wanted to take a look at it just so that you don't get confused and I don't get confused in the future as to why there are two functions that do the exact same thing. Uh, but we'll take a look at how it works and go through it. So I'm in my Power Automate here. I've got a manual trigger flow with a text input and a number input. We shall use a text input for now. In the first compose action, we've got a base 64 conversion and we're going to convert the, um, the trigger strings, the trigger text input into base 64 format. And then we're going to decode that uh, in compose two. So click into compose two, we'll go over to expressions. We'll scroll down and we'll go to conversion functions and we'll scroll down and we've got uh, decode base 64. So it returns a string it returns a string representation of an input based 64 string. So as you've seen in one of our previous videos, it does exactly the same thing as the base 64 to string. So we'll just choose that and we'll choose output and we'll choose okay. And then we'll test this. So we'll test it out, I'll perform the trigger and we'll put hi there, my my name is Matt. And we'll run the flow. Click done, flow run successfully. So we've seen the trigger here. We've got hi there, my name is Matt. We've got the compose action here, which converts it to base64. And then the decode base64 uh, converts that back to uh, hi there, my name is Matt. So the first one. So it's exactly the same function as the uh, as the base64 to string. It actually says in the documentation that base64 to string is the preferred option. Now it says it's the preferred option. It doesn't say that this one's deprecated. It doesn't say this one's going away at any point. I would probably use the base64 to string just so that um, we're keeping in line with how Microsoft want us to use this. Um, and I think it's just a grouping thing where they wanted to group um, you know, functions together and they'd already made decode, so then they made this one, which is just a copy with a different name. I think it works in the exact same way. I don't think there's any special things around it. So I would use that one, but I hope this video explains why there are two things that pretty much do the same thing. So I hope this was useful. Um, I'm sure I'm probably going to refer to this in the future to show which one should I be using. Oh yeah, that's the one I should be using. But let me know what your thoughts are um, down below. Um, are there any other functions that you think should be renamed and categorized with others to make it easier to sort of like do certain things in certain groups? Let me know. I'm really interested. So as always, if you like this video, please like and share it with your friends. It's always appreciated to get this content out there to more people. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.